Good morning. Uh, my name is Francesco Nazzaro. Today I'm, I'm going to talk about image recognition and camera positioning with OpenCV, uh, a tourist guide application. I work for Be Open Solutions in Rome. We develop software solutions for managing and publishing geospatial data using open source software based on Linux and Python. Image recognition is a field in evolution. Big companies invest a lot of resources uh, in this uh, research field. The main, uh, sorry, loud. Okay. Um, the main issues in image recognition are the following. First of all, we have, we have to implement a human ability. This is a very big challenge. Uh, the images to compare can be distorted and uh, oriented in different ways. So we have to detect uh, several features. And the algorithm of detection will be scale invariant. For our scope, we can find to use a ready to use image recognition tool like Google Images. Let's see why we cannot use it. This is a typical image taken with a smartphone or Google Glass. And uh, we have to recognize the picture in the center and not the arm of my boss or the bag. And uh, in uh, Google Images, we can not uh, define a library uh, of uh, images. So it tries to match all the features in our image and not only the pictures features. So he recognized room with uh, uh, a picture in the center or, uh, or other things. So we have to find another strategies. Let's try to understand what could be the, the best candidate as a features. Let's take a rectangle, for example. We can find three possible areas, the zone A, is a flat surface. If we move uh, the area in any direction, the contact of the square A will not change uh, in uh, aspect. So we, can, uh, we cannot localize the, the position of uh, A. The zone B is uh, an edge. If we move uh, the zone in the vertical direction, the contact of the square B will change, but not not in the horizontal direction. So we can distinguish the position of the zone B only in the vertical direction. The, op the optimal case is the zone C, that is a corner. In fact, we can distinguish the vertical and the horizontal position of this zone. So the best candidate to be the fissures are the corner because they have an orientation. So we need a corner detection algorithm this algorithm should be, should, will be scale invariant. The reason is shown in the, fig, in the figure. An invariant algorithm will recognize the left line as a corner, but it will recognize the same line, but bigger as two or three corners. For this reason, we need a scale invariant algorithm. The solution is the scale invariant feature transform algorithm by David Law. Here are presented the, uh, presented the basic steps of this algorithm. First of all, we, uh, first of all a difference of Gaussian's uh, operator is applied to the image bearing the standard, standard deviation. The result is a distribution and the extrema of uh, the distribution are the scale invariant blobs. Different, different of Gaussian's uh, detect corners and edges an algorithm like uh, Aries Corner Detector is used to leave out edges. To obtain a rotation invariance, uh, an orientation is uh, assigned to every key point. Then for each key point, a descriptor vector is created. Key points are the features recognized and the key points matching is performed through nearest neighbor algorithm between descriptors. OpenCV 
as uh, various image recognition algorithms already implemented, and uh, it has a uh, Python binding. Let's see an example using SIFT algorithm, scale invariant feature transformer, and uh, IPython notebook. First of all, we import uh, uh, image in black and white. Indeed, the image recognition algorithms are color, colors independent. We instantiate, uh, yeah. We instantiate the SIFT algorithm. Every image recognition algorithm in OpenCV has a function called detect and compute that returns key points and descriptors. This function may have four parameters for image recognition that can be optimized for the specific case. OpenCV also as a function to represent key points and their orientation on the image. The, circle, the color, uh, colored circles are the key points recognized and they have an orientation. We perform the same process uh, on the image in the library. We can imagine that we can have several images in our library. We match descriptors with the nearest neighbor uh, algorithm called PLAN. We store the good matches following Lowe's ratio test described in the article. Starting from the number of the key points matched, we can uh, understand if the image has been recognized. So we can set a threshold on the number of matches, above which we can say that we have recognized the feature. This threshold is closely related uh, to the algorithm and, uh, to and to the parameters used for the recognition. In this slide, I show an example of image recognized and not recognized. We can see that the number of matches is significantly different. For this example, I used SIFT, al SIFT algorithm. For our application, we use uh, we use the SURF algorithm that is an approximation of SIFT. We use it uh, because it is more computed computationally performant, so for uh, real time recognition is better. But the number of key points found by this algorithm is uh, significantly lower than the difference between uh, the recognized and non recognized case. The difference uh, can be very small. So we have to find a strategy to avoid false positives. Uh, we developed uh, an algorithm to compute the position of the observer. So we will we'll have a method to exclude false positive. Let's try to compute the position of the server respect to the image. We have to find the transformation that link uh, the library image and the picture in the photo. This transformation is called the homography and uh, link uh, uh, different projective, pro pro projective planes. We have two cameras, A and B, looking at the same point P in a plane. The projections of P in A and B are respectively PA and PB and we can express PA in function, in function of uh, PB, case and M. M is the homography and it, uh, it can be expressed through R that, that is a rotation matrix and T that is a translation. And the, key, the case matrices are the camera intrinsic parameters. So we can compute them. Uh, this process is called camera calibration and uh, it is performed through chessboard method. We take pictures of uh, a chessboard from uh, different angles uh, and we find the corners of the chessboard with the uh, Aries algorithm, for example. And we find a distortion to obtain straight lines. We can see that in this photo, the lines of the chessboard are slightly distorted and uh, we have to correct this behavior. This process is uh, already implemented in OpenCV 
through the function's fine chessboard corners and calibrate camera. Starting from these parameters, we can apply a transformation to the image. Now we can see that uh, the line of the chessboard are more straight than. Now we can compute the position of the image of the picture in the image. First of all, we have to extract uh, the matched key points for the image and for the library image. The OpenCV function find homography extract uh, the homography transformation from two set of points. And now we can create an array with the four corners of the picture and then transform the points with the, the homography matrix M. This is done by the uh, OpenCV function pers perspective transform. And uh, we note that uh, the computed homography is good because the, rec the red rectangle is over the picture in the, in the image. Let's see that we can use this method to exclude uh, false positive. In this case, we have a lot of matches. So if uh, we induce to think that uh, we have recognized the picture, but the picture is not the same. Uh, if we compute the position, the picture positioning, we can note that uh, it is wrong. In fact, the red, the red rectangle does not fit with the real position of the picture. So we, we have a false positive and uh, we, we have found it because of the, um, of the wrong positioning. We tested uh, image recognition also in 3D case and we can start with uh, a picture of the Constantine arc uh, taken from the right. Image recognition in, uh, in this case doesn't, doesn't work uh, because uh, there are too many differences between the images. So we have um, uh, image recognition works uh, if uh, in the library is included also an image of the arc uh, from the right. So we need at least three images for, uh, in the library from left, right, and center. Obviously, we can apply this algorithm only in the case of fronts of objects very characteristic as arcs or churches, therefore in touristic case. We used the image recognition in a Google Glass application it is a tourist guide application that plays media contents based on localization. For now, it was tested in the archeological area of the, the Palatino. In this application, image recognition is used for advanced location based on what you're watching and based on the planimetry of the place and is uh, is used uh, to play advanced uh, uh, information on the artwork you are watching. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> if you have any questions. Pardon? Questions? Thank you. Hello. Uh, I have a question. Do you do any other transformations to enhance the image quality before you do any processing? Like, for example, are you trying to detect if the image is blurry or there's like sparks from, I don't know, the street lights or something? Uh, can you repeat? I, okay. I don't understand. The, you, let's say you take a you know, a picture with your mobile phone and yeah. uh, the camera isn't, you know, focused properly. Uh, okay. Do you take the picture as it is or uh, do you have other algorithms how to improve the picture so you can run your analysis? No, uh, we, we tested uh, different uh, cameras and uh, every camera has a calibration matrix that uh, 
correct uh, the, the distortion of the camera. But uh, the, the images uh, must be uh, focused. Um, the, the blurring is not allowed. Um, I, uh, in your example, you had that red square, and you could easily see that it was in some cases wrong, but how does the computer see that it is wrong? Okay. Um, one moment. With uh, this uh, computation, we, we can compute also the position of the observer, and... Uh, we have to extract uh, rotation and translation from uh, the homography. So uh, OpenCV has also two uh, useful uh, functions. One is a solve PMP that from uh, um, MTX and DIST that are camera intrinsic parameters and uh, the distorted um, image he extract the rotation vectors and the translation vectors. From these, uh, OpenCV has also implemented Rodriguez, that is a, an algorithm that uh, uh, extracts from rotation vectors a rotation matrix. And so we can uh, um, compute the translation uh, in the system reference of the image, of the picture. And then if the translation is, um, um, is uh, how can I say, is wrong. So uh, if the translation is uh, back of the image, for example, we, we can exclude that this of is, uh, uh, is uh, um, uh, to to up or to down uh, respect of the picture, we can exclude this, uh, this match. Okay, thank you. More questions? No questions? Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, is this presentation available somewhere? Yes, is uh, the link uh, is the ask. See, <laughs> <Is> this <laughs> without. <laughs> So you can find uh, on my on my LinkedIn page is <laughs> one more question. One more question. Um, you say you need a library that is you only recognize uh, a certain number of uh, pictures, right? Uh, how large can this the, the library be? for uh, real-time processing? Just 10 pictures, hundreds, thousands? Uh, uh, we tested with uh, 10, 10 uh, pictures in the library, but uh, uh, we, can, um, we can improve this number, but uh, the, the time is, uh, the, the computational time is uh, uh, increased. So we can uh, parallelize the projects be because they are uh, um, independent. More questions? Uh, when you do image recognition, uh, I often see green lines going outside of the red square. So basically you find the position of the image on your base image and 
why you use uh, features extracted outside of red area? Why don't you dream only to features uh, that are inside the red square? Uh, when the features are uh, outside the picture. Yeah. Uh, why do you compare them? Because e they... Okay. E for example... Uh, in this example... Okay. So, so we can go to the arc example where you, we can see okay. red square and uh, some features out. Yeah, like this. You can see green green lines below the red square. Why you? Okay. He he perform a fit obviously for the positioning. That uh, so um, the key points outside the image. So the wrong key points are. Uh, are less than the uh, exact uh, key points. So uh, the fit exclude uh, them, uh, probably with a T-square uh, test or... More, more questions? Okay. Ah. <laughs> I have a question about the demo that you did, where do you do the processing? On the glass or do you send it somewhere to uh, an external server to do it? No, I don't understand, excuse me, so <laughs> sorry. In your application for the historical site, you said that you display information depending on where you are in the site. Yeah. And for that you need to figure out where you are. So you're comparing to an image in, in your library, right? Uh, uh, it uh, it localizes with uh, uh, GPS, and uh, but the the error for GPS is uh, the order of meters, and uh, we we can uh, find your localization through uh, through extract what you're watching in the in the in the place, so we can pre-select the the object that that you're watching. Uh, the near, the nearest, the near uh, object uh, for the GPS. And you do this, the processing that you have in your image, right? You compare what you see with the library. Is that yep. on the glass? No, it's server side. Okay. When you're converting to grayscale, because obviously you're potentially losing detail information, are you just doing a flat grayscale com computation, or are you doing, are you, or conversion, or are you doing any kind of optimization of the process of moving it to grayscale? We use the SURF algorithm because is uh, is more computationally uh, performant. And uh, I mean, before before you're running the SURF algorithm, you're converting a color image to grayscale. Or at least, that, at least you suggest. Oh, well, I thought that was what you were doing first. Are you doing just a? Is there any kind of special grayscaling you're doing, or is it just the conventional OpenCV? Does OpenCV do any kind of special? No, way? just uh, just it. Okay. Thank you. More questions. No questions? No. Okay. Thank you for your attention.